Hello everyone, my name is Manish and today I'm going to install PySpark on EC2 instance. To start with, I need to log in into the AWS console. So first thing is I need to create EC2 instance. Search EC2 instance. I don't have any running instance currently. I'm going to launch one instance here. Click on free tier. And I'm going to select Ubuntu. And I'm going to select T2 Micro. It has one CPU and one gigs memory, which is enough to install PySpark. In the configuration, I'm not going to make any changes. Let it be default configuration. Click on next. So I have got 8 GB storage. That is good. Click on next. I'm going to create a new security group. What I will do, I will select all traffic here. But in the real world, you don't need to do this. Otherwise, you are opening your EC2 instance for whole world. For the simplicity, I am making it all traffic. Okay. Now click on launch. Here it is asking for a key pair. I'm going to create a key pair spark. I will download it and I will click on launch instance. Meanwhile, what I will do, I will go here and I will copy this launch, this spam file. Click as final cell routing. So I will change to four zero zero permission. Okay, so now I will check if my EC2 instance is up and running. Yes, so this EC2 instance is up and running. I will click on action connect and I will copy this command to connect to the EC2 instance. For Windows user, you can uh, download the PuTTY and uh, connect to the connect to your EC, EC2 instance using PuTTY. So all the steps are there in the in this uh, link. I will paste here, click enter. Yes. So here you go. So I have already entered into the EC2 instance. Now uh, what I will do, I will update my EC2 instance. sudo get update. Now next thing is um, I have to download the Python. Click yes. So it will take a little while to download the Python packages. Now Python package is installed. What I will do next is I will install Jupyter Notebook. Now Jupyter Notebook is also installed. Next is I will install Java. Java is important to install because PySpark runs on top of Java. So I'm going to install default Java version. Sudo apt get 
can install default java click yes the screen once java is installed i will install scala now scala is also installed next is i will install install py4j so py4j is actually required to connect your python with the java now this is done what i will do next is i will download the spark package so to download the spark package you just go here and this is the link where you can get your spark package I'm installing the latest version of Spark, which is three. I'm copying, I'm doing Control C, and I will paste here. And I will go back here, and I will copy Hadoop three dot two, and enter. So this is the latest uh, package which I'm downloading it from the archive folder in spark site now i will unzip this uh, tz, tz folder so to unzip this one let me clear this one to the char minus jet xvf Okay, install find PySpark. That is also important. This is done. Now, what I will do, I will just try Jupyter and I will notebook generate dash config this is also done now next is i will create a certification folder sorry make directory and i will go here this is the path okay and I will generate a certification in this folder. To generate the certification, you have to type sudo open SSL request and make sure like you are typing everything correctly. If your SSL, if your PEM, PEM file will not uh, generate correctly, you will not be able to connect it. So this step is very crucial. So. Okay, 365 new key RSA 1024 key out my cert dot pen then out my cert dot pen and enter and give the country location so if you don't want to give just press enter okay so you can see the file is generated here in this folder now next is click cd and what we'll do we will go to the jupyter configuration file how we can go here like cd 
Tilda dot Jupiter frequency Jupiter configuration file and press insert I and C equal to get config then C dot notebook app then you have to give a certification file location issue home issue then to certs and my cert okay now next is you have to give p then next is dot open browser equal to false c dot notebook app dot port equal to create it one two three four okay let me again verify everything this looks good c equal to get config notebook app set file then i am give, i have given the pem file path then notebook app open browser false yeah so now click escape and right enter it then cd then type jupyter notebook hit enter so you can see the url here copy this url and copy the ec2 instance here Now you can see this connection is not private, so detail visit the website. I have to give the password. And here you go. You already connected to your Jupyter notebook in EC2 instance. Click on Python 3. And this is what we wanted exactly. Thank you for watching this video.